Okay, so here we have the flooring for the basement. This is vinyl. We actually got this from Ollie's. It's really cheap stuff. But we didn't want anything too fancy down here. It was 219 a square foot for the package. It was 41.52 and that is 18.96 square feet per box. So anyway, I like it. It's just your typical brown wood looking flooring. So we're gonna get started on this today. We got more of the carpet here, and this is to go on the steps. It's the same carpet, of course, that's over here in this area of the basement. So the carpet is going to go just on this part, not on the sides. What I'm going to do first is go through and paint all of the sides white because we're going to have white trim down here. And these, that way we can just run the carpet and the padding up the steps. And here's the paint that I'm using. It's the same paint that I've pretty much painted everything white with in our house. I will be honest, it's not my favorite paint, but it is super thick, so sometimes you can get away with one coat, depending on what you're painting. First coat is done. So you can see that everything on the sides is painted. It will definitely need a second coat. It's gonna look really good though when it's done, especially once the carpet's on it. Just like that, the first piece is down. Look at this. Put the kids to bed. James made a lot more progress. Got a lot done. I love the colors in this flooring. It really looks nice. I feel like it pulls everything together with the dark gray walls and the brown couches. So when we do finally get our movie theater couches, I hope that we can get them in a similar color scheme as the couches. Because I really like how it all ties together. And it looks good with the barn wood over there too. Really like it. So real quick, I'm gonna be painting this wall and I'm painting the same really light tan color that I used in the bathroom. Oh, I forget what it's called, Wind Fresh White. Sherwin-Williams 7628. Let's get to painting. We had to take a break from the flooring so I could paint this wall because the flooring will quickly be going underneath this wall on both sides of the bar. And I didn't wanna be painting the wall and putting down drop cloths and stuff to keep it off the flooring. So we'll just paint it first.
making more progress this evening. And while daddy's over there working hard, the kids and I are playing with this giant tube that was in our carpet that James turned into a tunnel. All right, boys, set it up. Okay. Put that there. Okay. Show us what it does. progress on the flooring there's the boys but over here James got the flooring done in the bathroom it looks fantastic very simple but now that the flooring is most importantly we can put the toilet in and the vanity down okay let me show you the progress here on the bathroom we have a toilet I love this toilet it's a Kohler toilet. That tends to be the brand that we always buy. We just have really good success with them and they're pretty inexpensive. So flooring is in that you already saw, obviously in the bathroom, toilet is in. Of course we need to do the vanity. Let me show you the rest of the flooring that we got done as well. So I'll kind of stand over here so you can get a better angle of it. Obviously you saw that all of this is done, but coming over this way, we did extend it a little bit further. Now we stopped there because honestly, I think we are pretty much to our stopping point. It's so nice outside and we're just kind of sick of working on the basement, you know? So I think this is just where we're going to stop for the summer and we'll pick this back up in the winter time. And there's a few other things that we wanted to do in phase one. We really wanted to get the whole movie theater behind me here finished, but we just can't because the doors. We wanted a craftsman style door, which is the same doors that we have upstairs in our house. I really like those doors. They're pretty inexpensive. They're normally like, I don't know, 150 bucks for the door and those bifolds are like two, maybe 300 tops. Right now it's over $500 for those stupid little doors. And I just can't justify spending that. It's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna wait till the price either drops down or we're gonna mill our own lumber on the sawmill, dry it out and that actually build the doors ourselves. So we still need to have doors here. We need to have a custom built door there for storage. We need to have a bathroom door here. And then we need to put trim around everything in the basement, literally everything. And then over here, the steps, we need to put the carpet down and then of course trim that out. If we would have gotten that done, that would have completely finished phase one of the basement because the movie theater would have been 100% done. Where we are currently, it's like, eh, 95%. It's just finishing touches. I do wanna get some old, like posters from some old Western movies, like some John Wayne movies and some Clint Eastwood movies to go on this wall. Since we live in a farmhouse and we love Western, so they will go along here. So we will eventually do that, but I think this is it. So I'll just show you one more time what we got done and we will finish this back up in the winter time. But of course we'll have a lot of farming related videos this summer, so stay tuned for those. But as far as like the house projects go, we're gonna enjoy the summer with our boys, take a bunch of vacations, get a lot of stuff done on the farm, and then we'll pick this back up when it's cold in the winter months, so. And I did want to also say that I love this flooring. It was so easy to put down. We cut it multiple different ways that you can see in the video with different saws, with a blade. It was just easy to use. It was really inexpensive. It feels durable. And something I don't think I've mentioned in the video is that you don't have to put any underlayment down with this flooring, which is nice because it saves time and money not doing that. Because it has 
like a little layer of foam. It's kind of hard to see, but you've obviously got the flooring on this side and then this side has like a little, I don't know, kind of foamy layer on it. It's really thin. I think it's like a millimeter or maybe two millimeters. I don't remember, but it's soft enough. Oh gosh, the mess behind me. You can tell the basement's under construction with that mess. But anyway, it just puts a little bit of backing on it so that when you walk on it, it's not real hard and it doesn't sound loud. So I love the flooring. If you need a good flooring option for your house, specifically your basement, I do recommend the flooring from Ollie's. Cheap and I like it.